How do you feel today? Oh, I'm just absolutely thrilled. Today has been an absolute blast. Can't you tell by the look on my face? Just overflowing with joy and excitement. Absolutely ecstatic. Hello. What do you want? How do you feel today? I don't care. Whoa, <laughs> why you are angry? Mind your own business. Relax. No. Can you tell my viewers to subscribe to my channel? No. Emotional damage! Hey there fellow gamers and game developers, today we are diving into the exciting world of in-world AI in Unity Engine. We all know how important the NPC conversations are in the video games. They bring depth to the virtual world, shape the storyline, and make gameplay memorable. But hold on tight, because with in-world AI, we are taking NPC interactions to a whole new level of awesomeness. This cutting-edge technology lets you create lifelike characters with unique personalities, reacting to players' choices just like real people. And the best part is, you don't need to be coding genius. In this video, we'll show you how to create your own NPC characters and personalities using the in-world AI which sponsored this video and seamlessly integrate that into Unity Engine or any other engines using their easy-to-use APIs. So, if you are ready to revolutionize your game development with dynamic and immersive NPC conversations, let's get started on this incredible journey into the future of gaming. What makes InWorld different? InWorld creates characters that have personality and understand the context of your conversation. They will respond to you in a way that reflect their emotions through tone and body gestures. They might be rude, funny, sarcastic, or kind. They can also memorize the conversation as a part of their responses and refer to backstory. They can even adapt their responses according to the tone of voice or actions in a game. So I'll show you step by step how to create your amazing NPC character and how to import it into Unity Engine. If you check the InWorld website, they have a free generous plan that is enough to get started and learning much about this amazing AI. Once you logged in to InWorld, you will see the characters that you have created and also you can create new characters. As you can see, I've created for this video two characters. The first one named Alice, which we met at the beginning of this video. Then we met the Furious, the Oracle inside the cave. You can see in the basic information, you can set the name of the NPC character, uh, the traits, the role in the game, the stage of life, any alternative names to call this character, hobbies and interests, even if you can link it to Wikipedia if this character is real one and have an old history. In the core description, you can give a general description of your character in the game. So this description I got generated through ChatGPT. So Alice is cute and funny. I just put general traits and ChatGPT generated for me this core description. So Alice is a funny, cute girl, full of energy. She's always cheerful and optimistic and something like that. You can also mention the flaws of the character. So what this character afraid of or what the things that she is not good at. For example, I wrote here, Alice is afraid to be alone after the loss of her parents. Another thing to add is the, the motivations of your character. So for Alice, it's she is motivated by her desire to explore and have new adventures. She's always looking for excitement and love discovering new things. You can choose also the dialogue style. Do you want it bubbly, formal, blunt, commanding, empathetic, entertaining, laid back, sarcastic, 
and a lot of other dialogue styles. Next, you can put some dialogue examples, uh, some sentences that you want to mention or to try to keep the dialogue around them. And finally, you can choose the voice of your character. If it's masculine, feminine, what is the age, youthful, old, middle-aged, and there are tons of voices that you can try of them. So once you choose the voice, you can listen Hello, to it. I'm Alice. You can choose another voice, you can change the talking speed and pitch to get different variations of character voices. And now if we go to the advanced tab, here we can specify more details about the character personality and mood. So here you can determine what is the character traits by adding some main characteristics like funny, kind-hearted, introvert, extrovert, anything you imagine. So in the mood, you can control the character mood by dragging the sliders between two values. Here it represents the sadness and joy, the anger or fear, disgust and trust, uh, anticipation or surprise, static emotion or dynamic, static relationships or dynamic. And for personality, we can determine whether the character is positive or negative, peaceful or aggressive, cautious or open, introvert or extrovert, insecure or, or confident. Additionally, here you can determine the knowledge of the character. So it can realize the environment around it or any other characters to communicate with it or tell something about specific character or location. Here I mentioned that there is someone called Zephyrius lives in the cave near the waterfall and that's how this character knew about the other character. Next, we have the goals, which triggers some context when something happened in the conversation. So when the player tells some information, we can trigger something in the game, like open a door or next uh, quest or something like that. I'll not go into details because this requires a full detailed video about this goals feature. And finally, you determine this character in which scene it exists. And for that, you need to go to the scenes section and create a new scene to describe what is this scene. So you need to put the name of the scene. In my case, it was a fantasy forest. And here is a simple description. What is this scene about? And this will help the character to get some information about where it is and what he's talking about. So in the description here, we are in the bright fantasy forest where Alice and Zephyrius lives. The wise oracle Zephyrius lives in the cave next to the waterfall. So this gives additional information for your characters. And now your character is ready to be imported to any other game engine or any supported games so you can import to unity engine unreal roblox minecraft ndk node gs so we will test the unity integration once you click on unity you will get the in-world tutorial about that so you can go to the unity asset store and add the ai npc engine dialogue and behavior for unity in-world you add it to your assets once you add it to your assets, you go back to Unity, to your Unity project, which uses the built-in renderer. Go to the package manager and then choose my assets. Check for in-world and import. Okay, once in-world imported correctly, you will see that there is a new tab called in-world. Then you go to the studio panel and also the in-world requires the TextMesh Pro essential resources. You can import that. Then you click on login and go back to the website. Click on integration. You might need to use the API keys and the secret, but you need also to generate studio access token. Click generate, copy the code, go back to Unity, paste it and click login. It will welcome you. Then you need to select the workspace. I created already a workspace called Binary Lunar. Then I'll choose my key and the in-world scene. It will load your characters to Unity Editor. 
once you finished loading, you will see the characters inside the selected scene. So we have Alice and Zephyrius. If you click on Alice, you will see its prefab in the project files. And simply you can drag it to your scene and you have the character ready to be interacted with. If you don't want to create your own controller, you can simply add the player controller to Unity scene. And that's it. Now we are ready to interaction. Let's click play and test. Hi there. Hey there, how's it going? I hope you're having a fantastic day. What's on your mind? Let's chat and spread some positive vibes. Yeah, sure. Can you tell me a joke? Absolutely. I'd love to share a joke with you. Here it goes. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Isn't that just hilarious? <laughs> Laughter is the best medicine, my friend. So, let's keep those smiles going. Do you have any jokes you'd like to share? Oh, nothing in my mind currently. No worries at all. Sometimes the funniest moments happen spontaneously. For the environment, I used the Fantasy Adventure environment from Unity Asset Store. I'll provide the link down in the description if you want to use the same environment. And for the music, I usually use Artlist to, to find a good music for my video games or YouTube videos and even sound effects for editing my videos. So also the link for that website down in the description. You saw how the character responded when we set some uh, characteristics or personality based on the following. We had the mood was joy, uh, anger or fear. It was balanced, more trust, more surprise, more dynamic uh, emotions, dynamic relation, confident, extrovert, open, peaceful, positive. Just changing those parameters will change the way that the character behave so let's give it a try and by the way just changing here will change in game so you don't need to change anything in the game since this hosted by in world let's make everything bad so the personality negative aggressive uh sadness anger disgust anticipation static emotion static relationship, uh, insecure, introvert, cautious, and see how that will affect the responses of Alice in the game. We can change also funny to angry. We can change kind hearted, aggressive for the basic knowledge. We can change the core description to the opposite is an angry and difficult girl she is pessimistic okay let's change those for now motivation she don't have any motivation for anything for the dialogue style we can choose um maybe blunt save let's go back to unity what is your mood today angry why you are angry none of your business Whoa. <laughs> What's your problem? Nothing. Why are you so angry? <laughs> because life sucks. That's why. As you can see, you are giving short answers now. So? <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, hilarious. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill. <laughs> so, can you tell my viewers to subscribe to my channel? No. Come on. <laughs> no, I won't. Okay, let's repeat the final question about su subscribing to my channel by returning those to uh, good mood, joy, trust, positive, peaceful, open, extrovert, confident, dynamic emotion and dynamic relationships, surprise, and here, character traits, cheerful, positive, Kind, kind, positive, energetic, and positive. And we need to, in the motivations, she is always motivated for new adventures. And also change the dialogue style back from blonde. Maybe this time 
to sarcastic. Let's check what that do. Hi there. What are you doing in this beautiful forest? Oh, hello there. I'm just enjoying the beauty of this forest and all the wonderful things it has to offer. There's so much to explore and discover here. The trees are swaying in the gentle breeze, the birds are singing their sweet melodies. And the sun is shining down, casting a magical glow on everything around. Life is too short to be serious all the time, don't you think? Let's have some fun and make the most of this beautiful day. What about you? What brings you to this enchanting forest? I'm looking for someone in this forest. Do you know someone else lives here? Oh, absolutely. In this vibrant and mystical forest, there's a wise oracle named Zephyris who lives in a cave near the waterfall. He knows everything about this place and its inhabitants. If you're looking for someone, he might be able to help you out. Zephyris is quite the character, full of wisdom and knowledge. He's always willing to lend a helping hand. Just follow the sound of the rushing water, and you'll find his cave. Good luck on your search. And remember, every day is a new adventure waiting to happen. That's great. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure chatting with you. Hi there. Can you help? Yeah, me? greetings, traveler of the winding path. What brings you to the realm of whispers and riddles? Speak your heart's desire and let the currents of fate guide our words. I need to know my future. Do you think this video might go viral? Yeah, the allure of the digital tapestry, where the winds of virality blow with capricious winds. The future, like a butterfly in flight, dances upon the delicate threads of possibility. But fear not, seeker of fame, for within you lies the power to captivate hearts and minds. The key to unlocking the gates of virality rests not in the stars, but in the essence of your creation. Nurture with passion, and let the world bear witness to your brilliance. Thank you so much for your advice. And that's it for today's video. I'm looking forward to see this technology implemented in your video games. If you are a gamer, you can try this demo in itch.io. The link down in the description. Also, if you are a developer and Patreon for my channel, you can download the project files. Till next video, see you soon.